inaitwa Michael Ayodi uh, na hapo ni Print Factory uh, this is the uh, pali tunatengeneza ngama shati uh, this is actually the, the six uh, six head screen printer na tumefungua duka ya kuuza hizi mashati Juzi Town so we're very proud of that hii biashara tulianza 2003 kianza tuko na hii machine tulikuwa na nyingine ya nini uh, kichwa moja uh, a one head machine uh, lakini advantage ya hii na kitu imefanya tu struggle tununue hii ni that hii unaweza chapa more colors unaweza chapa na more accuracy na of course unaweza achieve uh, unaweza chapa so much more quantity ya mashati na machine kama hii advantage ya hii tukianza ilikuwa that inaweza chapa um, print kubwa kwa shati na actually uki, ukifanya uh, history ya uh, watu wanaprint mashati designers wa mashati Kenya who are the first people to do a big print kwa t-shirts. Sasa hivi tunafanya four types of printing. Tunafanya airbrush, tunafanya screen printing, tunafanya hand printing na tunafanya spot color sasa. Screen printing ina, inatoka kwa this is the screen. Screen inatengenezwa na hii mbao na mesh. Una expose to screen image yenyewe unataka kuchapa alafu unaikalia kwa shati unaweka rangi juu. Airbrush uh, ni process a bit more complicated uh, but ku simplify pia ni venye tu matatu ziko zinafanywa graffiti yao. But the same process unaileta kwa shati. Na usually watu huitumia kwa custom made t-shirt kama kuweka sura yako ama kuweka image ya kitu kingine kwa kwa shati. Hand painting inatumia just normal brushes za ku paint kwa um, other other materials kama canvas ama walls but ni a, a refined type of brush that unachukua sasa una paint kwa kwa shati the last one is spot color tena tumia fine mesh kutoa portrait ya mtu kwa shati according to t-shirts just to um, kujaribu ku offset chenye watu wanaletea kutoka nje kuvaa kitu kama echo ama Sean John vitu za nje afadhali wavae vitu za huku local shati zetu si utoa industrial area uh, kwa the large farms za waindi zenye siku huko because i think around you are and mass at a reasonable price so pia lazima tuangalie cost zetu uh, na selling point pia uh, inks tunatoa of course tunatoka nje lakini tuna suppliers la uh, CBD currently tuko one there's the head design and the CEO Ibrahim Alex uh, there's me i'm sort of the man- marketing manager right now alafu sasa kuna watu wa field na watu wa production. Well, hii machine capacity yake ni about 150 per day. But kazi kama hii advantage yake ni ina expose kwa corporate firms. Wenye maybe wanataka pia kitu kama hii ama wanataka zingine za embroidery. Kianza since akuko na social media ilikuwa word of mouth watu kuambiana. Ama mtu akivaa hii na ameenda mahali watu ma, ma, marafiki zake wanamuona nayo wanamuuliza hii umetoa wapi. So ni namba inapatiano tunapigiwa simu uh, tunangoja order zifike kiasi fulani ndio iko economical ku produce hiyo line alafu tunapeana another very big way yenye imetusaidia ku, ku kusonga mbele ni artists celebrities cuz unajua ni watu wanaonekana kwa tv kila saa so ni kama free advertisement because tuko na ikatu logo yetu ya handprint on the side so mtu anaweza join shati yetu challenges zenye ziko unique to this one um, ni kupata adequate supplies Uh, the t-shirts at times uh, unapata bei na shinda iki uh, panda leo iko juu kesho iko chini ushaambia customers bei ni hii fulani uh, wakikuja unataka kuongezea kidogo so wanaona ni kama hujajipanga hii ndio imezaa kazi zingine because currently as part of the establishment kuna recording studio kuna green screen studio uh, na kuna editing suit so hata design zenye tumefanya kwa shati natupa exposure mingi kwa watu wenye na need design work because ukiangalia a lot of corporates products zao lazima ziko na design uh, packages zao lazima ziko na design so at, at the end of the day design ni kitu haitaisha so ime to expose to so much na ika, ika leta a means to survive other means other revenue streams that will not say to survive because as ingine pia shati biashara yake inaenda chini so we survive na yote kai currently tuna three types of products for different people uh, kuna zile za wasa wa campus of which ni a bit simpler design but jua wana wanaweza va shati Monday to Monday basically lazima tu wapunguzie bei kidogo so zao zina kwa around 700 alafu kuna kitu kama hii yenye ni msemibe na va shati weekend so ana ni kitu mm, poa ya kwenda to an event 
this in and that for kama 1000 afu kuna zile high end kidogo tunatumia special techniques uh because produce and mass na kama 1500 at the very end ya hiyo spectrum kuna zile shati expensive kama za airbrush ama hand painting because hiyo ni moja tu itatengenezwa so ni custom made so ina range from 25 to 35 vijana wengi wakifanya biashara kama hii au sema wanataka kuwa the biggest and the best lakini at the end of the day si venye tumepanga ni kukuwa uh, iku, iku kitu ukitembea nje ona on a regular day unaona about um, 20 25 people by the time tu unafika town unaona kama 20 25 people wamevaa shati yako inaweza kuwa big achievement ukishaamini kitu na ukishataka kufanya kitu I think it's very possible uh, inafaa tu ujiamini. Uh, ukichukua story ya mwenye alianza hii place uh, hata si haku ha depend so much on formal education, haku depend so much on formal employment. Alijiamini tu akatafuta zile resources za nazo, akazikusanya na akaanza kufanya job. Mm. So I think everyone anaweza fanya kitu kama hiyo.